welcome to Flannel Acres, your creative home connection. You can stay connected by hitting the subscribe button and that little bell down below. Today I want to show you a very easy dish rag to make with crocheting. And this is what it looks like. These are some old ones that I made quite a long time ago. Different colors, just whatever I had on hand. And um, the reason I make them this shape is because it fits in my hand like this. It just it feels like the perfect size for a dish rag. Um, there are lots of dish rag patterns out there that are usually square and it just feels like there's too much cloth or too much dish rag to it. <laughs> I like the smaller ones better. So I'm going to show you how to make these today. What you're going to need is one of these balls of yarn. I like this, uh, what's it called, sugar and cream 100% cotton yarn. Um, you could probably use regular yarn like polyester yarn um, but I feel like the cotton is better for dish rags I'm not really sure why maybe it's just a texture thing uh, but I like these a lot better so get one of these and usually there's a pattern like a free pattern on the inside of the label if it's one of the dish rag patterns great you have a pattern for that for probably a different shaped one um, this one happens to have a pattern for a bag we're not going to use that just going to use the yarn and I'm going to be using a it's an size H crochet hook and it which is also looks like a five millimeter I think those are it says H slash eight and it also says five millimeter on it so that's the size I'm using you can use a different size if you like the texture of the dish rag to be different or stitch size different I also like to keep these teeny tiny scissors on hand I just keep them right in with my crochet hooks it's just handy to have a nice little pair of scissors on hand so these ones that I made before are about 20 stitches across in each row and I think there are about 12 or 13 rows total here. Alright so we're just going to start with our slip knot and if you need some help getting started with crochet click on that card up above and you will see a, kind of a tips and tricks video on how to get started with crochet. But anyway we're going to start with this slip knot and we're going to do 20 chains. 20 chain stitches. Okay, now this is where you turn your work, but we're going to chain one to go up a row. And you'll understand that concept a little bit better if you go and watch that tips and tricks video. Um, so we're just going to chain one. That will take us up to the next row. We're going to turn and we're going to start stitching. Uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way across. Okay, so I made it 20 stitches across. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to turn my work, but I'm going to chain one to bring us up to the next row. And turn, and then start the next row. So I'm going to continue on for about 12 rows, and we'll see what it looks like. got this one done this is what it looks like and comparing it to my older ones here the size let me see you get this back a little bit further they look a little bit different the new one looks bigger and that's because this hasn't been washed yet once it goes through the wash it'll shrink up and the the fibers will kind of tighten together a little bit and it'll look a little bit more like this there and so to end this we're just going to find my little scissors. I'm going to cut this end about, about like that. Then you're just going to take that last thread through there 
do that last stitch pull it through and kind of pull it tight it'll make itself its own knot there and then you can weave this in and out through that edge there you can use a yarn needle or you can use your hook to just kind of poke it in and out through the whole edge there that'll kind of hide that loose end so from start to finish, this only took me about 15 minutes. And I am i guess I consider myself rather proficient with crochet. So if you're a beginner, it may take you a little bit longer. If you're um, super fast, it'll probably take you a lot faster than it did with me. But um, a simple project to do, you know, you can get probably, you know, I still have this much left of this. I can probably get at least another one out of this little ball of yarn. And um, these come in all different colors and just a fun little project to do on an afternoon or weekend or whenever you have an extra 15, 20 minutes or so. Thank you for watching today. And if you have suggestions on things you would like to see me try to do with crochet or things that, questions that you have at all or, or whatever, share down below in the comments. I love to hear from you guys and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.